Hey folks, we're, uh, we're having a ton of fun right now with this Rep Soto hitting device. Um, we're, t we're testing out actually the CF Zen 33 inch and the, and the Quattro. So we're doing sort of a head to head comparison, trying to get ball exit speeds and distances hit um, just off of a tee with, with okay practice balls. Um, but it's just sort of super interesting that we're just, we're just trying to figure out how, uh, you know, how to best use this device, uh, device at Just Bat Reviews. You can see the camera in there, see the green lights on? So that means it's ready to read, and so he's going to hit one, um, and you'll see the, you'll see the light turn red right here. He's got to yank it though, because we're, we're actually doing comparisons, and we, I'll show you where we're getting the data collected in a second here. Good. So see how it turns red? The light turns red, and it's processing, it's processing, and then through Wi-Fi, it's actually sending it to our our uh, our PC uh, upstairs. So I'll show you that as he hits. Uh, we're doing sections of four, so we're doing four. Uh, Di Marini, then four Quattros, and then we've had a couple of different hitters on the BB Core with, with this thing hit, um, and then we're trying to collect all the data to give us some uh, um, just some insight as to how far how far we're hitting that ball. So again, let's we come back over here to the PC, and this thing's rocking and rolling. So he's he's in this section. He's hit it now three times. Um, that was an exit speed of 55 miles an hour and 160 foot distance. So off of a tee, and we don't have an inbound speed here, so it's not real collision. That was a miss hit because I saw it out of the corner of my eye. So that was 60 miles an hour, went all of 15 feet. All right, we're gonna switch bats. So you wait, you switch bats. Would just be right up here. And you know you can put at least for me, you can put bats, and, and we put bats in our profiles. I think. Uh, I think other people would actually put hitters, which would make more sense for them. But we're, you know, we're do we kind of do some unique stuff here. All right, so now it's set up for uh, for the quattro. We're good. So there's the yank. Let's see what happens. Atta boy. And then you know you can change your different angles. And there's so much data once you like once you're out of sort of the hitting section. There's just so much. There's so much data going on. On this other screen, it, show, it will show you ball spin. If you're doing pitch speed, it will have inbound pitch speed. It will have where the strike was, uh, and you'll be able to aggregate all this data per hitter. It's, it's seriously the most fascinating thing we've ever, we've ever looked at. So again, we're just adding these up, trying to get you know statistically significant data um, with different BB core hitters off of a tee. Maybe not the best way to do it right now, but we're just trying to figure it out and sort of feel it out what the best way to get real sort of bat and ball exit speed. So let's let's just see what our hitter likes better. Hey, do you get a feel, Link, for what what bat you liked better without without knowing the data? Do you get a feel for what bat you thought? Well, just what bat you liked better. You know, it's interesting. When I, I hit, I'm part of that BB core data. I felt like I liked how the Quattro felt better, but I, I don't know if the if the data is going to prove prove out. I actually think the Zen data was better, which is, again, exactly why you're doing this uh, RepSoto hitting video. So we've aggregated all that data. Uh, well, we haven't. The RepSoto hitting software has done that, and uh, it's it's pretty fascinating to look. So. Um, and we're just trying to figure out the best way to use this in terms of presenting data to people that go to Just Bat Reviews. Uh, and so it's a little bit of a trial and error, but we thought it'd be useful, at least for some who, who are interested in looking closer at the raw data, to actually look at the raw data and what we can actually see from it. Uh, underneath our team management, we put bats, um, obviously. So we've hit them with the Slugger, just a big old wood bat, the Quattro, and then the CF Zen. Um, this is uh, this is the data. So, so of course you get like a, you know you get like a spray chart off of a tee. You get average exit speed. Uh, when you choose a different hit in here, it's going to actually change. You know, it's going to show you exactly what that hit looked like. Down here, it will show you. You know, you, and you can choose different angles of that. So this was a ground ball to you know to third or wherever that was that went 73 miles an hour and hit the ground right there. Um, you also can you know go through your exit speed and find the really heavy ones. Uh, you know, and see, this was this was a line drive, you know, in the shortstop's glove, although it would have hit the ground, you know, at one, whatever that would be. So again, off of a tee, that's sort of fun, you know, that's sort of fun to look at. The, the other way to sort of manage this data is on this other tab, um, and this is what I think is might be the most useful in terms of bat comparisons. 
So again, this is the 33 inch BB core Zen. And based off of our 30 hits and two different, you know, two different BB core hitters, if we scroll down, well, you can just see all the different ones right here. But exit speed, you'll see down here for the for the Zen was 71.1 miles an hour over 30 hits off of a T with two different hitters. Total distance was 126. Not sure if that number is as useful. The 126 is as useful as a 71, um, but either way, that's that's where it's at. So then, of course, you want to take that data, right, and you want to compare it to uh, the Quattro data, and you want to see what it was at. So that other one was at 71. Um, here's the, you know, we go from one hitter to a different hitter. Um, here's our spray chart, and you go to this, this you know, this, uh, this table of data. Here's your exit speed. You'll notice that your exit speed here is average 73.3, so almost two miles an hour better, and your distance is better, too, um, now, how, again, how, what sort of what sort of commentary can you make? Because you're, I, I guess, something you can fairly say um, is that off of a tee in the Rocky Mountains with practice balls that can hit the Quattro two miles an hour faster uh, over thirty hits. I mean, that's that's it. I, I don't I don't think it's fair to extend that conclusion to saying hey the zen is a better or, or the quattro is a better bat than the zen uh, at least in this situation it is um, but in terms of uh you know is, is it a better game bat i think it's probably a bit of a stretch to make that claim um but it, but it's clearly it's clearly a little it's a little it's a little bit useful right uh it can't it can't be entirely unuseful um information because it's actually it's actually somewhat useful and it's it's fascinating if nothing else so Anyways, folks, th there you go. There's us goofing around with the Rapsoda hitting device. Expect a ton more from Just Bat Reviews on our site when we, when we have uh, maybe a better feel for how to hone in the usefulness of this to people trying to find the best bats and, and bat data before they go out and spend, you know, 400 bucks on a baseball bat. Uh, this kind of data might be fun to have in your back pocket um, while you're pulling out your wallet.